Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang maxima minima. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo yung one of the applications uli ng differential calculus which is yung paghanap ng maxima minima. So, ito yung mga steps in solving word problems in maxima minima. So, the first one we have, draw a diagram if necessary. So, tulad dun sa related rates, so if possible, dapat i-draw natin yung diagram para ma-analyze natin yung bubuuin nating equation base doon sa given. Okay? And then, to write an equation representing the quantity to be maximized or minimized. This quantity will be typically represented in terms of two or more variables. So, after nating madraw yung diagram, if necessary, then that's the time na pwede nating i-analyze yung problem using the diagram. And then, makakabuo tayo dapat ng equation doon. So, usually daw, uh, it includes two variables. Okay? Then, use any relationships between the variables to express the equation obtained in step 2 into a function of single variable. So, dapat yung function na hahanapan natin ng maxima or minima is in terms of one variable na lang. So, gagamitin natin yung relationship doon sa equation na nabuo natin para matransform natin yung, yung function to be maximized or minimized using single variable na lang. Okay? Then, for differentiate and equate the function to 0. So, yung nabuo nating function, if you first derivative natin, and then, yung kinalabas ang derivative is i-equate natin sa 0, then isasolve natin yung roots nung uh, derivatives na yun. Okay? And then, test na lang natin kung yung point ba na yun is magpapamaximize or minimize using second derivative test. Okay? So, para may illustrate natin yung step-by-step -step process sa paghanap ng maxima minima, ay mag-solve tayo ng some examples. So, for the first one, we have, find two non-negative numbers x and y whose sum is 300 and for which x squared y is a maximum. Okay, so since number problem lang naman to, kahit hindi na tayo mag-draw ng figure. So, sabi daw, Yung sum daw ng two numbers which are represented by x at y is 300. So, therefore, yung pwede nating maging equation is x plus y is equal to 300. Okay? For which x squared y is a maximum. So, given tayo ng ibang maximize na function. So, x squared y daw is to be a maximum. So, therefore, Dapat, itong x squared y, dahil two variable siya, matransform natin into single variable. It's up to us kung either x lang ba or y lang ba. So, let's say x na lang. So, para magawa yun, itransform natin itong y in terms of x. So, transpose ko lang dito si x, magiging y is equal to 300 minus x, right? And then, plug in natin ngayon yung y na to in terms of 300 minus x para one variable na lang in terms of x. So, let's say f of x na lang, right? x squared times yung y na 300 minus x. Or, pag distribute natin, we have 300 x squared minus x cubed. Okay? So, ito yung ima-maximize natin na function. And then, sabi, i-derivative natin, first derivative. So, we have f prime of x is equal to, so, 300 times derivative ng x squared is just 2x. Then, minus derivative ng x cubed is just 3x squared. So, therefore, we have 300 times 2x or 600x minus 3x squared. F prime of x. The next step, the bay equate daw natin to 0 yung f prime of x. So, therefore, we have 600x minus 3x squared is equal to 0. Okay? And then, ang next step is isasolve natin yung roots nitong nabuo nating equation. So, quadratic sa meron tayong dalawang possible root. So, factoring na lang. So, factor ko tong 3x, then magiging ito is 200 minus, minus x equal 0. So, equate each factor to 0. We have 3x is equal to 0 and 200 minus x is equal to 0. So, therefore, here, x is equal to 
divide both sides by 3, cancel, x is 0. And here, x is equal to, so transpose si 200, or x na lang dito magiging x is equal to 200. Okay? Now, para ma-check kung ano yung magpapamaximize or minimize dito sa dalawang solution, pwede natin gamitin yung second derivative test. So, according to second derivative test, kapag hinanap natin yung second derivative, tapos, in-evaluate natin ito at, at the given solution or roots na nakuha natin na ito, kapag daw yung second derivative at a certain, let's say, dito sa uh, root 1, x1. Kapag daw itong second derivative evaluated at root 1, let's say ito, ah, is greater than 0, then it is a relative minimum. Baliktad. Kapag positive minimum, kapag f double prime of x sub 1 is less than 0, it is relative maximum. Okay? So, pa natin itry. So, di ba yung first derivative natin is itong 600x minus 3x squared. So, anong second derivative niyan? Derivative lang natin ulito, di ba? 600 minus 6x. And then, try natin evaluate pareho itong 0 muna. So, f double prime of x at 0 is 600 minus 6 times 0 or 600 minus 0 or 600. Positive, right? So, therefore, it is, it is a relative minimum. Ito namang f double prime at 200. So, substitute natin yung 200 dito sa second derivative. 600 minus 6 times 200, we have 600 minus 1,200 or negative 600. Negative. So, therefore, relative maximum. So, therefore, ang sagot natin is dapat x is equal to 200. Or common sense na lang eh, kasi kapag 0 yung pinili mo, ano mangyayari dito sa imamaximize mo? 0 squared times y, 0. So, 0 is not a maximum, right? So, dapat meron ka man lang whole number sa x. So, therefore, when x is equal to 200, ano si y? Gamitin natin tong equation na to, or ito. y is equal to 300 minus yung x natin na 200. So, y is equal to 100. So, therefore, the two numbers are 100 and 200. Okay? Next, we have a rectangular box with open top is to be formed from rectangular piece of cardboard which is 3 inches by 8 inches. What size square should be cut from each corner to form the box with maximum volume? Okay, so this time kailangan natin mag-drawing para mas ma-visualize natin yung figure. Okay, so meron daw tayong rectangle na May length na 8 inches, tapos may width na 3 inches. Okay? Tapos, bubuo daw tayo ng cardboard by cutting dun sa mga apat na sulok niya ng square. So, let's say, let x be the dimension of the square na ikakat natin dun sa sulok. So, therefore, meron tayong x, x, x dito sa apat na sulok. Right? Tapos, pag kinat daw natin tong mga square na to, Ifo-fold natin pataas para makabuo tayo nitong box. So, ano raw yung dimension ng square na ikakat natin para ma-maximize yung volume nitong box na to? Okay, so, kapag kinat natin itong x, ano yung magiging dimension ng box natin? So, ito, ito yun, ba? Siya yung magiging height. Tapos, ito, itong side na to, ba? meron tayong x, Saka x, tapos yung total length niya is 8 inch. So, kinat natin tong dalawa, ang natira is itong dimension na lang na to. Which is equivalent dapat sa 8 inch minus yung kinat natin na 2x. So, therefore, 8 minus 2x to. And last, ito. So, dito tayo titingin. Kinat natin tong dalawang x sa total na length niya na 3. So, ilan na lang tong matitirang to? 3 minus 2x. So, 3 minus 2x. Okay? And therefore, pwede nating ma-represent yung volume nung box na to in terms of x lang. Kasi, di ba, ang volume is 
length times width times height. So, yung length is itong 8 minus 2x. Yung width is itong 3 minus 2x. And then, yung height is itong x. So, therefore, in terms of one variable tayo, pwede nating i-differentiate agad siya. Right? So, volume of the box is a function of x. Sa so, gawin na lang natin is simplify natin itong product of polynomial. So, distribute ko muna si x magiging 8 minus 2x times 3x minus 2x squared. And then, 8 times 3x is 24x. 8 times negative 2x squared is negative 16x squared. Negative 2x times 3x is negative 6x squared. Negative 2x times negative 2x squared is positive 4x cubed. Then, unahin ko na lang si 4x cubed. Tapos, negative 16x squared minus 6x squared is negative 22x squared. And then, plus 24x. So, ito si V of x. The next step, di ba, hanapin natin yung first derivative. So, we have V prime of x is equal to 4 times derivative ng x cubed is 3x squared minus 22 times derivative ng x squared is 2x plus 24 times derivative ng x is 1. Simplify, 4 times 3 is 12, so 12x squared minus 22 times 2x is 44x and then plus 24. So next step is equate natin to sa 0, right? So therefore, we have 12x squared minus 44x plus 24 is equal to 0. Then, find the roots. So, medyo malaki yung mga number, pero mayroon pa silang GCF na 4. So, divide natin both sides by 4 muna. So, ito magiging 12 divided by 4 is 3x squared. Negative 44x divided by 4 is negative 11x. And then, positive 24 divided by 4 is plus 6 equal 0. So, mas madaling factor. So, we have, let's say, 3x, x, 3, 2, minus, minus. Right? Equal 0. Then, equating each factor to 0, we have, for the first root, 3x is equal to transpose it to, divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 2 thirds. And this one, x is equal to transpose it 3, 3. So, meron tayong dalawang possible roots. Kaso, mapapansin nyo itong x is equal to 3, parang imposible kasi, kasi yung 3 is dimension na agad nung width natin. So, kapag nilet natin x is 3, parang di na tayo nag-cut ng uh, square, right? So, therefore, hindi acceptable itong x is equal to 3. Ito lang, yung x is equal to 2 thirds. Now, para ma-check kung magpapamaximize nga siya, Apply natin yung second derivative test. So, sige, second derivative natin itong first derivative. So, V double prime of x is equal to, we have derivative ng 12x squared is 24x minus derivative ng 44x is 44 plus 24 is 0. So, 24x minus 44. Then, evaluate natin yung, dob, yung second derivative at 2 thirds. So, we have 24 times x na 2 thirds yung nakuha natin minus 44 so cancel dito si 3 24 magigi 8 and then 8 times 2 is 16 so 16 minus 44 is negative 28 so therefore negative yung nakuha natin sagot nung in-evaluate natin itong uh, v double prime of x sa so nakuha natin critical number or root na 2 third so therefore according to Sa ganirebative test, kapag negative, di ba ano siya? Maximum value. So, therefore, tama yung sagot natin na x is equal to 2 third. Okay? Next, we have a wire 16 feet long has to be formed into a rectangle. What dimension should the rectangle have to maximize the area? Okay, so meron daw tayong wire na total length niya is 16 feet. Tapos, if a form daw to as a rectangle. So, parang ibibend siya para maging rectangle like this. So, what dimension should the rectangle have to maximize the area? Okay, so let's say, ang width natin is x tapos yung length natin is y. So, dapat daw ma-maximize natin yung area which is formula for area ng rectangle is length times width. So, x times y. So, itong area to be maximized is in terms of x, y. So, kailangan nating matransform mat muna to in terms of one variable. Either 
in terms of x or in terms of y lang. So, kailangan natin ng isang equation para makuha natin yung relationship ni x at y. So, di ba, itong total ng length ng wire na 16 feet, parang siya yung magiging perimeter dapat nitong ating rectangle. So, di ba, ang formula natin ng perimeter ng rectangle is 2 times x plus y, right? And then, equate natin itong perimeter niya doon sa total length ng wire na binend, which is 16 feet, right? So, we have 16 is equal to 2 times quantity x plus y. So, pwede natin i-divide both sides by 2. We have 16 divided by 2 or 8 is equal to x plus y. So, ito ngayon yung equation natin na pwede natin magamit para masolve natin yung isang variable in terms of the other. So, let's say, solve ko na lang si y in terms of x. So, transpose ko si x, magiging 8 minus x is equal to y. Then, substitute ko dito sa formula ng area. So, area is equal to x times yung y na 8 minus x. Or, distribute ko si x, 8x minus x squared. So, ito yung ma-maximize natin, yung 8x minus x squared. So, first derivative, right? So, a prime is equal to derivative ng 8x is 8 minus derivative ni x squared is 2x. Then, equate to 0, right? So, therefore, 0 is equal to 8 minus 2x. So, isa lang yung ating critical number or root, which is, transpose ko dito si 2x, so magiging 2x is equal to 8, divide both sides by 2, x is equal to 4. So, check natin kung itong x is equal to 4 ay magpapamaximize doon sa area ng rectangle by finding the second derivative nitong ating a prime, which is, 8 minus 2x. So, a double prime is derivative ng 8 minus 2x is just negative 2. Okay, so always negative 2 pala yung second derivative natin nung a. So, therefore, automatic itong x is equal to 4 is, is acceptable to maximize the area. So, therefore, ano ngayon yung dimension natin? x is equal to 4. Ano si y? Diba? y is equal to 8 minus x. So, 8 minus x na 4 is equal to y. So, y is also 4. So, therefore, the answer is dimension is 4 by 4 or a square. Right? Okay? Okay, so, I think that's it for this video. Maxima minima. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.